y'all. This is me again. So we just came back from, where did we go? Okay, so we went to Ollie's, which is a store that I am not familiar with. I That was my first time going inside, but it's here in Richmond. Is it in other places around? I think so. Okay, yeah. So if you heard of Ollie's, yeah, that's where we went first, mm -hmm. looking for candles. And yeah, no, it just did not do what it needed to be done. So we went to Marshall's and that was right next door. So I'm gonna show y'all what we got. Got a lot because they're really good prices and some of these are unique scents. Some of these we just like, like because they were big. So yeah, let me unbox them with you. So the first one is, so this one actually we got by accident. These, this is what we meant to get. This is the Akasha Honey and Citrus by 96 Scented Candle. Meant to get this one, but ended up picking up Spiced Tobacco and Vanilla by accident because I didn't realize that the packaging was different. If you just look really fast, they look similar, but I should've known this doesn't have yellow in it, so. Yeah, so that's the first one. This scent, the Akasha Honey and Citrus. Let me see. I really like this. This is not something I would really go for, but the honey is really like pulling through for it. It's more floral than I would say any kind of citrus in here, but it's very like a honey floral. That's what it gives me. So that's that. And then the spiced tobacco and vanilla. I like that it's not like um, big ready, but there is cinnamon. So like cinnamon and vanilla, that's basically the vibe. It, uh, and a little freshness, it's like cinnamon vanilla with a little bit of pine. I like that, surprisingly enough, even though I didn't mean to get that. So those are the first two. And then, okay, this one purely just got because it's boba tea. And we love bubble tea, so had to get it. It's by DW Home. And this is a candle brand that I'm really been interested in. I've gotten a few of their candles like probably like two years ago, but I just never kept up with it. But I've seen a lot of their fragrances and they're really affordable online and in store, honestly. So it doesn't matter where you get it. But um, yeah, this really does smell like boba tea in the best way possible. Kind of reminds me of peach tea if that gives you kind of compare some kind of comparison if you've never smelled boba tea before it kind of smells like peach tea i like that but it's subtle it's not like in a sickening sweet kind of way it's really it's it's balanced so next this is another big one. Oh yeah i didn't tell you the price so the big ones are 16.99 each which is a good price to me because for instance this one by Forever Mood, I think I got this for like 60 something dollars. So this is how many ounces? This is 18 ounces. And then the 96 candle is 31.3 ounces. So I felt like that was a really good value. I mean, of course this is more of a luxury candle, but you know, I'm sure it's gonna give the same thing. So, but we'll see. Next one is, Light Candle Co. by Lenore. And I don't remember what a lot of these smell like, so let me open this one up again. Oh yeah, this one's really sweet. It's like, kinda candy-like, and it's like a candy berry, but really, really subtle. Like, super subtle. I don't know what it has to do with Lenore, but, the candle's cute and it was $16 and how many ounces? 34 ounces. So again, I thought the price was really nice and I think it could fit in any home. Nice, simple. I prefer when candles fit into the vibe, but sometimes you just gotta go with the scent. And this one, I liked the scent just as much as the vibe. So that's another one. Uh, yeah. This was the first one we came across. And it's Palm by You Are Bane. And this is also by DW Home. I actually didn't realize this when we were there. So again, DW Home is like this brand here. So 
Yeah, no wonder I like it. Okay, so let me smell this. This is like, yeah, okay, so it says beach woods and island coconut. Yeah, it does give me that, but it's really subtle. Again, like with this bo boba tea one, it's not overpowering, but I get what it's supposed to be giving me. It is beachy, it is coconutty, but it's, and it's fresh and clean, but not in a way that you're like, you get sick of, cause sometimes some coconut smells can be too powerful, like especially Bath and Body Works. So I feel like this is really, really nice. Like I'm really surprised by that, but I didn't even notice like it gave some of the notes in here. So yeah, the color doesn't really go with the vibe of our home, but it smells nice. And I actually like the glass bottle. It's really, it's pretty, but the color just, just doesn't go. And I actually wanna look into this brand now that I see it, cause I didn't know they had another segment attached to them. So yeah, I like that. Well, obviously I like everything I got cause I got it, so. Oh yeah, this is the other Kasha Honey and Citrus. Yeah, meant to get three of them. And I was like, oh, there's three, let's get all three. But you know, got a little surprise with the spice, tobacco and vanilla. Oh, yeah, I really like this one. Okay, so this is called Togetherness and this is by Lab and Hygie or Hygie. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, so I'm sorry. But it says on here, let me put it up to the camera. Togetherness, family, friends, significant others, coworkers, build relationships. That's really nice. I wish they did have more because I did like this scent a lot. It was really unique compared to any of the other ones. The other ones felt more like a typical candle scent, but this, let me open up and smell so I can describe it. Oh, okay. So when you open them up, you get more information. So it says Tranquil C. So that's the vibe it's supposed to be giving. And it gives just that. It has that like kind of like cool breeze kind of scent to it, but in again, subtle, subtle way. It it it, it kind of has like some sandalwood in here as well. That's what it seems like. I really like this. This is a really sophisticated scent, like something that you would like to smell at a hotel because it's inviting, but not overpowering. So yeah, I really enjoy this. And the price was $8. I can understand why a lot of people probably didn't like this because it's not, again, like super playful, like a lot of the candles that you would normally see and go for. This is more for a specific kind of taste and vibe but um let me see how many ounces in this one okay yeah 15 ounces that's really good and eight dollars i love it i really wish they had more of this because the more i smell it it's really really nice like the fact that i can put my nose in here and it's not giving me a headache that's how i know it's like the perfect amount of scent that's not gonna do me wrong Oh yeah, this is cute. Okay, so this is a brand that I've heard, or I've seen a lot of people that go into Marshalls, they always pick uh, up candles from them. So this is Sand and Fog. Went to finally try it. Well, didn't go in with the intention to try it, but since it was there, this was the one that worked. So this is Classic Linen, and it says it's woman owned, which is sweet. Um, which means it's not black owned, but it's nice. It's woman owned. Um, we still love our fellow woman and it has the love emblem on top. It was $12.99, so also not a bad price. It wasn't on sale though. But again, I didn't think that was that bad compared to what I would get again from Forever Meat. Like this, I think was like, let me see. This smaller candle I think was in the 40s. Yeah, so. You know, the only reason why I sometimes getting candles from brands like Bath and Body Works or Forever Mood or any other candle brand that resells the same scent 
and that you have easy access to is that you can get the candle scents that you like again and again. The thing with going to places like Marshalls or um, Home Goods, it can be one and done. You'll never find it again. It's not sold online. So it's just, that's the thing that sucks about buying candles in store like this, but it's the chance that you take and just enjoy it for the moment. But that's the downside that I have because I'm like, what if this the candle that is just the best candle I've ever smelled in my life and I just love it so much, but I can't find it again. That's the fear that I had. So, but you guys don't need that fear. Anyway, Sand and Fog. This is classic linen. I actually really like that the packaging has like a linen or the label has a linen kind of fabric to it that makes it feel a little luxe. So that's really cute. And yeah, it smells like linen again i think what i was really enjoying about these candles is that they i they're not so sharp and bright some of the candle flex came out compared to the bath and body works candles i think maybe i just need a break from the, the candles that are just so in your face so i'm really attracted to all of these subtle scents um and forever mood is also really really strong it's not in a bad way it's not a bad thing but just you know different vibe from what i already have in my collection or in our collection so yeah this was sand and fog great price nice and subtle classic scent i think anyone that likes clean clothes would like this so yeah i like it it's like linen with a little natural flair to it it's, it's cute. I lied. We did get another um, lab in Hygie Hygie candle, the togetherness. I'm so excited. I'm surprising myself. So, yes, they did have to. It's so nice. It's a masculine leaning scent, but for me, I like scents in all ranges. So, I'm so glad we have to be Sutton Lodge. Um, this was the cheapest one <laughs> of all the ones we got, five dollars. And I'm assuming they're they were all on sale for this cheap because these are like holiday kind of leaning candles. But because this one in particular just has like a fresh, clean, woody vibe, it feels like something that we would enjoy all year round. The other ones they had were like super piney you know like typical kind of christmas scents but this is just like woody and fresh and yeah that's the vibe that i like all the time so yeah and like tobacco it kind of reminds me of mahogany teakwood but in the best version of it <laughs> possible because mahogany teak wood sometimes can be a really 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 pungent and strong and um i like what i like about this one that has like a uniqueness to it it has like a bit of a warmth to it that mahogany teak wood doesn't have like this has a little bit of like amber or like a touch of vanilla just like a little bit just to warm it up a little I really love this and I almost was like gonna put this down but yeah it's called balsamic <laughs> I said balsamic balsamic vinegar right because it's gross stuff but it yeah. tastes good when it's put out together mm -hmm. okay good mm -hmm. onions garlic onions garlic celery balsamic vinegar tomato paste that's a big word for Elmo balsam bal balsam I can't say that word I'm just gonna put it to camera I don't know, there's some words I just can't say. That word, fur. So that's the name of this candle. If you're in a Marshalls, just grab them. I think they're really nice, $5. And if you're not feeling the logo, I think it can pale off, so that's really nice. I like the color of the jar. It's like a deep, deep navy blue. It's really cute. So yeah, back to Yeah, so that, yeah, that is everything. Well, not everything we got. That's all the candles we got. We picked up a few more items. We got, oh yeah, we got a side table for the um, the bedroom and uh, a little side table 
for the living room, some kitchen stuff. Um, I'm trying to remember all this, but that's it for now.